Welcome back to day 11 of Ramadan. Today is a Monday and it feels oddly like a Monday, doesn't it? Yeah. We woke up and we both felt, we felt like, yeah, today it definitely feels like a Monday for some odd reason, even though when I like fully work and stuff, but um, just you just feel like it's Monday. Anyways, we are en route to the post office because I have a few uh, parcels, yeah. to, I know, because I have a few parcels to send off. Um, I've been putting um, a few things up on Depop and um, yeah. So I'm going to be sending all the parcels off. So thank you guys so much for buying the things. Um, if you guys want to check my Depop, I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. And yes, by the way, guys, I am wearing color again. Who would have thought? <laughs> I know. I'm actually wearing red. I would never in a million years wear a red scarf. Ever. Like, ever. Suits you. And I, color yeah. suits you. Patterns. What has happened to me this Ramadan? I don't understand. Have I become all girly all of a sudden? Well, Ew, you are a girl. No thanks. You no are a thanks. girl. No, like too girly, girly. Like I am a bit of a, a bit of a tomboy. I like my jeans. I like my joggers. But for some odd reason, I haven't worn jeans and like joggers in quite a while. What is going on in life? I don't understand. Do you? I like it. I know you do. You do like me looking all girly. Well, I do. I, I am with a girl, and I am married to a girl. <laughs> I am with a girl. Not really. Okay, so we are trying to figure out how to do the Scoopy Doo voice. Shaggy does it like Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. He does it proper from his throat, like Scooby Doo. Do it. You can do it a bit better because you have a thicker voice. Yeah, you have a way thicker voice. My mind is just squeaky. Do sco Scooby then. Scooby. No, wait. <laughs> that was definitely not it. Wait. Just get my thick voice out. <laughs> that was a thing. <laughs> Go on then. I don't know how to. Scooby Doo Oh shit, I'm hooked. You can do it, <laughs> can do it so well. Scooby Doo Doo Doo. I sound like someone possessed, you know. Yeah, I clearly haven't got a thick voice. That's how you yeah. do it. Scooby. Scooby! 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 Doo. <laughs> that was me. We're, we're going a bit cuckoo in it. But you can do it so much better than I can. I just haven't got a thick voice at all. I've got a really like. Scooby! <laughs> kind of voice. Okay, you guys, we are home and I thought I would quickly show you a little haul. We just nipped by the shops on the way home and I picked up a few bits. So I thought, why not show you a good old little food haul slash. A few bits for around the house nothing really exciting actually something really exciting for me maybe not for you guys but something that i've been looking for everywhere is this now this is my life right now it's a dental all-in-one disinfectant spray i had to pick up a few of these because i was like missing out you know what these have been sold out everywhere when i say everywhere I'm talking everywhere and I've been missing this because you know when I usually get my packages and stuff I like to just spray it down leave it for a little bit and then open it because then it's obviously germ free but now when I get packages I had to get like my disinfecting wipes and then like wipe it all down and then it's quite a long this you just spritz it down and then you're good to go so this for me is happy time okay happy time so let me put you guys somewhere and let me show you guys what i picked up okay so this little angle is gonna have to do so the first two items i picked up are these guys i couldn't tell you how happy i was when i saw this i was like like my eyes just lit up i was like oh my god they have them so of course i had to pick up two they're not the cheapest but whatever it's like literally needed right now so i picked up two of those and then we picked up this um this is a quick flame and um, basically for when we do our log fire we bought some logs so we're gonna light it up obviously um i think we might do it tonight actually so we might light the log fire up and um, pop some of this and obviously just get it going because it's gonna be so nice just sit outside now that the garden oh my god oh my god guys so i've got an update for you guys the garden is fully done 
fully done alhamdulillah i'm so so happy so we will be doing a garden a renovation uh video really really soon a lot sooner than we expected because everything came like really quick all the stuff that we ordered came a lot quicker than we expected so a garden renovation guys is literally coming so soon so like in the next couple of days so hope you guys are excited if you guys are comment down below and let me know how excited you guys are because i am buzzing to show you guys the before and after you guys literally won't believe it you won't even you won't even think that's the same garden but it is the same garden i promise you anyway so i picked up those and then i picked up um these now if you guys own turf then these are important because these are turf pins so you just pin them into the ground and then it holds it in place so we needed a few more so we we picked up three of those um just to secure it further in case it's a windy day and the turf end up like flying everywhere so we picked up that um, I picked up some strawberries because we don't have any strawberries anymore at home, which is very sad. Strawberries are literally my favorite thing ever. Um, I also found these. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've been really missing the mozzarella sticks from McDonald's. And obviously now that McDonald's is closed, this is the next best thing. So I picked this up and this is just 12 mozzarella sticks. And this was only a pound, guys. I was actually really, really impressed. Um, next, we picked up some Warburton crumpets. Now, I haven't had crumpets in... When was the last time I had crumpets? Oh my god, I don't even know. It's been a very, a very long time. Picked up some crumpets. We picked up some toasted, oh, toasting waffles. So you can just pop this in the toaster and it does the job for you. So, you know, for Sahur or whatever, what well, we pick this up. Um, I picked up a bag of vegetables. Now, this is crucial. I use vegetables in literally every other dish that I use to cook in. So, um, we need another one. Next, we picked up cheese and onion pastries. You get two, four pound, which is so cheap, guys. This is a big pastry. So, yeah, we picked this up. We can have that for one of the days to break our fast with. Um, I also picked up some baking powder because I'm baking a lot more and... God knows what's happened to me this Ramadan, honestly. I don't even know. Um, actually, this quarantine, let's say. Yeah, this quarantine, I've been like baking and it's not like me. But anyways, picked up some baking powder. I also picked up my favorite, which is the pink stuff. Now, this is amazing because this is a multi-purpose cleaner. You can, use the to you can clean the toilets, you can clean the kitchen, you can clean anything. And it makes your kitchen look sparkling after it. So, yeah, got this. I picked up some disposable gloves. This is good, for obviously, when you go to the shops or when you're out in public now, unfortunately. You um, just, yeah, gloves because it's needed now. I don't want to be touching anything. What has the world come to, honestly? Like, who would have thought if you just, like, went back two months ago, three months ago, who would have thought that this would... Who would have thought that the world would be like this right now? Like, you can't go out the house without wearing a mask. And you can't go out without wearing gloves because you don't want to touch anything in case it's any germs or it's a crazy world out there and it's kind of sad but this is life right now anyways um we picked up some milk this is the new milk that i saw advertised on tv it's called bob now this has a long date on it expires on the 7th 15th of oh expires on the 13th of may and today is the third so Today's the third or fourth? Today's the fourth. So it has a quite a long date on it. So I don't know. We've never tried this out. So we thought I'd try it out because obviously it's got a long date and we don't want to keep getting milk because it expires and we don't even use it. So yeah. Last but not least, we picked this watering can. Now this is going to be amazing to water the plants that we have in our garden. A little sneak peek there for you guys. We bought some flowers and stuff. So this is going to be amazing to water our little flowers that we have in the garden. That is everything that I picked up from our little shop. Um, I'm going to, obviously I just already disinfected everything. So everything, everything is just chilling on the floor for a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to pop everything away. But Adol is well and truly out in the garden enjoying the garden since it's a nice well today is not the best weather to be fair with you i thought it's gonna be nice and sunny it's 15 degrees but it's not not very sunny to be fair <sighs> fresh air okay first things first we are gonna water our little plants
Okay, do you guys want to see the most genius little hack that I just created out of literally nothing? So we had a bit of extra turf obviously from doing the gardening. So I thought, you know what, why not spice it up and decorate the kitchen and do something a bit more creative. So this is what I came out with and I absolutely love it. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. I'm going to turn it around and show you guys, but I think I did such a good job. I'm actually so happy with it. So with the extra turf that I had, I thought I would just pop it here on the windowsill. Look how cute! I think that looks so, so nice. You guys, you can still be creative, you know. I've added this extra plant over here just to, you know, go with a bit of green. But, I you guys, I don't know what's happened with the weather, but it's actually gone so cold recently. It's so odd though, isn't it? Darling! No thanks. Cringe! Keep it that way, please. <laughs> Yeah, it's just gotten a lot colder for some odd reason, and even though it's like spring, it's just like so chilly at home. Today is chilly. It's chilly. I think, you know, when you're chilly fast, I think when way. you're fasting, your temperature just goes down in it. You feel cold all the time. It's so bizarre. But yeah, we've actually got the radiators on, which I didn't really want to do. Just to warm up. Coming up, coming up towards like summer, put the radiators on, but it's just like needed because it's so so cold why is my forehead so shiny i don't understand guys i don't understand why my skin gets really shiny during the day it's your highlighter no that's my highlighter that's i don't put highlighter here you do no i don't <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna put a highlighter between my eyebrows yeah not really agent harry potter uh, That's what his friends call him. <laughs> Indian Harry Potter. Indian Harry Potter when he wears these glasses. <laughs> I don't know why they call call you that. These glasses it's suit you so much. Harry Potter glasses, isn't it? Harry Potter. No, they don't. They look lovely. But the expensive glasses. That's what they are. On the floor. I will show him what I got on. Ah! <laughs> you dare ever do that to me again. You listen to it! Okay, so after all the fighting that me and I don't have, <laughs> have had, I thought I would bring you guys and open my packages. I've just got them from outside. So they've had a good disinfecting and now they are ready to be opened. So I thought I would sit down and open them with you guys and show you guys what I got in my PR package. Okay, so they've sent me the cutest little like little bag. Look how cute this is. It looks, it definitely reminds me of something like you'd get from like Ted Baker. The style of it, the rose gold detailing. I absolutely love it. Let's open her up and see what we have inside. But first and foremost, this bag is so cute. It's definitely something I'll keep with me. Ooh, we have some new skincare. Oh, that's so nice. This is Dear Amina. Time to get your dream skin. Our new retro and jasmine infused skincare will take you on a smooth journey to your most beautiful skin. Thank you for your pixie love. How freaking cute is that? 
Oh my god, absolutely adorable. So yeah, in here it just kind of tells you about the new skincare range that they're doing. Pixie Beauty have launched the new skincare range, which is Retinol and Jasmine collection that looks like this. This is amazing. So the first thing they give you is a cleanser, toner, face oil, and then an overnight face oil, and then a moisturizer, and then an eye cream, which is amazing. I actually needed a new eye cream because when I posted the video of us having a self-care Sunday, some, someone mentioned, oh, you didn't put your eye cream on, but I've literally just ran out. So I have no eye cream left, which is so sad. And the one I usually go for is by Ollie Hendrickson, the eye brightening. But I literally just ran out. So this is so amazing. This is so cute. I absolutely love that. And I can't wait to try the new skincare range out. Yeah, a massive thank you to Pixie Beauty for sending me these items. I am so excited to try them out. Anyways. Mm. You guys, it's time to prep for iftar for day yep. 11. Whoop, whoop. Alhamdulillah, I've caught up with my Quran and now I am on track. So tomorrow, inshallah, I'll be on just at 12, which is amazing. Anyways, um, in terms of iftar today, we are having a pretty chilled one. So we are gonna have um, hot dogs, chips, mozzarella sticks, and then um, we have, uh, what's it called, alo tikka that I made, um, homemade um, a couple of, I wanna say like a week ago. But I just froze it, so that's what we're gonna do, we're just gonna fry it. And that's pretty much it for iftar. We are just trying to eat up what we have in the freezer, to be fair with you, because the freezer is so full, and we are just trying to eat up everything. And I'm excited, actually, because... You guys, iftar is a pretty much sorted. So, so on today's for... menu, we have, Homemade hot dogs, um, chips, two mozzarella sticks, a mango lassi, of course. We've got alu tikka. Um, all we did was like um, put corn flour and egg and fried it further. And then Adol's got his plate and his mango lassi. So yeah, we are sorted. We are going to dig in. Not the healthiest um, iftar, but nevertheless, it is needed and it looks amazing. I can't wait to dig in. This is honey roasted onions over the hot dog. Mm -mm -mm. You guys, we are off for our daily walk. I'm looking like an absolute tramp today, but no, that's part of life. You guys, it's actually Freezing. so cold tonight for some odd reason. Not even tonight, just in general. Today is really cold for some odd reason. I've actually got like a neck scarf and that never happens. Like I'll never take a neck scarf out with me Yellow car. for a walk. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> but, oh my God, is it cold? Mm -hmm. Feels like winter all over again. It's so bizarre, honestly. Mm -hmm. like, I'm done with this weather. I want to be on holiday already. You mistake, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we were checking, by the way, we were checking the degrees in Tunisia. And oh my April. God, if you want to go to Tunisia, this is the time to go to Tunisia in April because it's like, what, 30? 34. 34 degrees. Between 20, 28, 20, 34. That's amazing. Imagine. And it was like sunny, 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 sunny. I was like, oh, I wish I was in Tunisia right now. This time, okay. Yeah, we went to Tunisia in November and it was quite chilly then. We had to wear like our coats and stuff. But April is the time to go to Tunisia. But it was still better than here. Oh, 100%. Oh, it wasn't as cold as here, no way. <laughs> but you know, a bit chilly. Okay, you guys, we are back from our walk and it wasn't the longest walk, I'm not gonna lie. It was about a 20 minute walk because it was absolutely freezing today. So it was just so cold to walk. So I think 
what I'm gonna do is while Adel is setting up the shisha as you guys can see from behind I think I'm gonna go and make us some mint tea I think that's gonna go really nice with some shisha just kind of chill and unwind now because we've had a busy day today so I'm kind of feeling a bit hmm I need to just chill now so yeah the best thing to do is when you're feeling full and bloated is make yourself a good mint tea it's just gonna make you feel so much better and it's good for your digestive system and it's just gonna make you feel overall amazing and plus it goes hand in hand with shisha so mm. anyways okay so for tea i'm going to be making the moroccan mint tea now i've talked about this um, before and i've done a post about it sultan tea absolutely love it it's the best moroccan mint tea i've tried here in the uk anyway so would definitely recommend having this it's actually really inexpensive it's like 3.99 for a packet of 20 which is actually really really decent so i'm gonna make that and hopefully just chill now as you guys can see i look absolutely shattered today guys shattered is an understatement literally <laughs> You guys, perfect way to end the night. Some dates, some mint tea, and some shisha. Nice? Smokes well? Yep. What flavor did you add? Frozen apple and pink. Mm -mm -mm. Smells amazing.